my child attends Chrisland School, VGC. Hello guys, welcome back to Benin's vlog. If you are new here, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click on the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. I sincerely appreciate your love and support towards my channel. Thank you guys, you are the best. Dear parents, especially mothers, please, let's guide our children. It's very important. It doesn't matter whose hands you're leaving them in. The truth is, if you fail as a parent, there is no way you can correct it. Once you failed your child from the basic, you might not be able to fix it tomorrow. That is why it is important to teach your child everything they need to know. Teach them from the house. That's why I always say create time. I know it's not easy. Most most parents are busy, but create time for your kids. Don't leave them in the hands of caregivers alone. They can only do their best. Nobody can train your child better than yourself. Parents, please wake up and perform your duties. Just imagine what happened to this young girl. And the worst part of it is, they are calling it rape. Listen to me, everyone. You see what happened to that young girl? There's nothing like rape. In that video clip I watched, there is nothing like rape there. If you watch that video clip, you will agree with me that whatever that child was doing, it's not something that a child who knows nothing can do. Honestly, from what I saw, it's obvious she's been into this art long before now. A child that is, I mean, a child that has not been exposed to such art cannot demonstrate the kind of things that child was doing. Come on, guys, if you watch that video, you will understand what I'm saying. What that child was doing, even some married women cannot even do it. I'm serious. This is no joke at all. You know, listening to the mom and all that she's been saying since, the one that got me really pissed up. It's this one right here. Mrs. Kemi told me that I should not tell my husband that it is not everything women discuss or disclose to their husband. So I said, oh, okay, no problem. As long as this is uh, just kissing and that I will caution my daughter. So I left them. You know the part that got me angry here is where she said just kiss. If I'm sure if you had thought this child the right way to follow, she will not engage in such acts. Even the Bible made it clear in Proverbs 22 verse 6 that we should train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old, he will not depart from it. So tell me, if this child was guided properly, will she end up doing what she was doing? You know, I don't blame this child at all. She's not at fault here. The parents bears all the blame and part of it goes to the school as well. Please, try to guide your child or your kids properly. Train them in a way that even if you are not there with them, any way they find themselves, they will always hearken onto your voice. Your voice will always ring a bell in their ears. They will always remember the teachings you gave them from the house wherever they find themselves they will represent you well that is the importance of good parenting it's really sad that these kids are suffering today as a result of what they've been exposed to you know it's really really sad and I think parents need to sit up. Enough of all this negligence. Parents, please, you need to sit up. Meanwhile, some of our Nigerian celebrities like um, Whiskey Baby Mama, Miss Johnson, Toto Decay, and others 
whose kids are also students of the school, denying the claim that the child was raped, which I also agreed with them. That child was not raped at all. Alright, over to you guys. Drop your comments in the comment section and tell us what you think about this whole case. Do you think the parents are also at fault or the school is totally to be blamed? Drop your comments and tell us what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and click on the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I drop a video. Thank you. I even began to beat my daughter that how, why would this happen, what is going on? So as we were beating her, the girl now said, Mommy, please, can I talk to you? I said, okay, what is it? She said that the Chris Land, Mrs. Azike, threatened her not to speak out. That, they sh that she should not speak out. So she narrated how it happened, how they abandoned them in hotel, how the school left them, and how she got you know, into this thing that is happening now. So even on our behalf, they have been coming to have meeting. They've been sending delegates from their headquarters to have meeting with my daughter without my consent. I was not aware, we were not informed. So please, I am begging Nigerians to help me.